What's up guys, Mark here from the Jeep Lab. Um, quick overview on the bodyguard fenders and inner fenders for 2000 uh, JLU, so 2018 and up JLU. These are pretty new. We saw them at SEMA 2019. This is first time installing these. Um, overall, right now they are kind of new. I think maybe um, bodyguard was a little premature on these, just being 100% honest. The instructions uh, need a lot of work. Um, no videos online. Uh, I did make a little video myself that I'll be editing and posting shortly, but uh, just give you a quick overview on some issues that we ran into, some things that we found, and just kind of the overall impression of them right now. So um, here is the Jeep that we have installed them on. As you can see, it is the fender and it is the inner fender front and rear. Um, first off, everything is pretty, pretty solid made. Um, everything came together pretty well. Uh, I will say that the instructions don't talk about cutting any brackets. There are two brackets here and there are two brackets up here. Those brackets have to disappear. Um, you're going to have to cut those off and you're going to have to grind them down to basically where they don't exist or the three different plates that go in here to hold the inner fenders and attach to the fender are not going to fit. Um, you can see here we've already rubbed a little bit. Right now, this is a Metal Cloak 3.5 running 17s. So we may have to adjust the bump stops. Um, first time out on the trail, we already rubbed them and scuffed them up. Um, but uh, like I said, the instructions were a little less to be desired. They are pretty strong here. Um, I will say the LEDs did not come with a resistor. So it is telling us right now that the lights do not work. Um, <clears throat> there is a little bracket that goes down here. Uh, it was pretty simple to install. Everything lined up pretty well, went together. Um, but a lot of the time was spent trying to figure out how to actually install these since the instructions were very less to be desired. Um, there is another liner behind this, you can see. So there's two pieces that actually go up against the fender. Um, and then you have a bracket, a bracket, and a bracket that attach to this fender here. Uh, then the inner fender first one goes in the second one goes in and then this one attaches to both of them to complete the front install So give you a little overview That's what they look like from the front They kind of follow right along here on the grill <clears throat> The vent piece you do have to remove the factory vent piece on this So that is the front Onto the rears, um, you'll notice here the rears are missing a little bit. So this bolt here is missing. There's a bolt down there that's missing, a hole there that's missing a bolt, and one here that is missing a bolt. Uh, no nut certs, guys. No nut certs at all came in this kit. And you cannot get to that hole, that hole, that hole, or that hole, um, and nut certs are required unless they come out with a seven inch bolt that's going to go all the way through the tub which i doubt um this did not come with nut certs nor did it say anything about nut certs so uh that was kind of frustrating um again i did say that these are fenders with inner fenders um this one was in there but we had a heck of a time getting it in there and getting it to line up we actually had to you can see here there's some putty we had to actually cut away and try to grind this down for the tip to fit in here after we got all that in, there's the last final piece that was here that attached with one bolt and it was dangling. It was literally dangling and rattling and making a noise. So we weren't happy with that. We were gonna leave it and just take off the bottom piece. But <clears throat> when we got to this side over here, this one, as you'll see in our other video, didn't even fit. The inner fender didn't even go into here. We pried, we pushed. I had about an inch and a half to two inch of space where this would not go. It was pushing these lines all up in here. It was shoving these over to the side. Uh, I didn't want anything rubbing against these lines here. Uh, I didn't want anything shoving up against this box. Uh, it was very, very um, not form fitting at all. So we are actually running without that as we work with Bodyguard to figure out a solution. Um, but that's why you don't see anything in the rear. So again, we're one of the First ones I've seen, I haven't seen any videos out yet. I saw a couple of them at SEMA. Um, I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention and checked them out, but um, yep. So that is our overall impression. Um, install time took a lot longer than we wanted to just because we basically had to figure out how to install these ourselves. 
Um, <clears throat> but we did do some videos and some step instructions on how to do everything. We'll be posting later. So that's kind of our take on the bodyguard fenders. So uh, we'll post some comments below when we hear back from bodyguard in regards to the rear inner fenders. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll give you more soon.